Hey folks, it's me, Tiffany, AKA It's Me Lady G today, coming from the website, my blog, It's Me Lady G, which is a lifestyle, health, mommy, and wellness blog. Please make sure to go and check it out. It will be in the description box below. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you do want more tips, wellness tips, mommy tips, lifestyle st sort of thing, that's what this channel and my blog is about. If you would like those type of sort of things, just hit the subscribe button, I really appreciate it. But today, what we are going to be talking Talking about is what I used because I am pregnant you can't really see here but I'll put a picture in <laughs> what I've been using so far to avoid stretch marks let me get more specific stretch marks during pregnancy because I am eight months pregnant right now had a whole video on on my whole it's like a whole big thing a whole story and also on the fact that I am 36 I know I look kind of young but I am 36 and I just you know kind of found out I was pregnant. Well, this is my second kid. I'm not just finding out, kind of finding out. But I was really scared this second time around if I was gonna, you know, whether I was gonna get stretch marks or anything. And because I am all about, you know, natural products and everything else, I was trying to look for those things that would be, you know, right in my alley. Like before I use other um, products. When I was pregnant with my son, I think I used bio oil or something, which, you know, now I know better. <laughs> I opted for more natural products this time around and did a little bit more research on it. And so these are the products that I've actually been using during the entire pregnancy from the time that I actually found out I was pregnant, which was around five weeks till now and I am 30 three weeks yesterday <laughs> so the first thing i've been using is actually from a company called earth mama angel baby but i think they just rebranded so i think they just might be earth mama organics okay but if it's not i'm gonna put it down here so you have everything you know right there of course as always all the links will be in the description box below where you can go and check everything out i do have like a wellness favorite store on Amazon where I have pretty much everything that I talk about here and on the blog and on my Instagram page. If you do not follow me on Instagram, you should because that's where I am the most. I have everything, all the products that I talk about in that wellness store and it's just in one place and who doesn't love Amazon, okay? I'm on Amazon, I shop Amazon way too much. First thing I've been using is the Earth Mama and at the time it's Earth Mama Angel Baby but it is now I think, like I said, Earth Mom Organics. It's called Natural Stretch Oil. This is made with a couple of different oils. All of these are just kind of like oil um, butter uh, blends. This one is made with calendula, uh, jojoba, and barrage oil, and orange flower essential oil. Goodness gracious, I can't speak. And according to my research, barrage, and I hope I'm saying it right, oil is good for um, skin elasticity. So this this is about my third bottle or so that I've had through my pregnancy. And I put it pretty much everywhere that's prone in general to um, getting stretch marks. Now let me, let me back up, I don't think I said it already, is that stretch marks overall, whether it's from pregnancy or from anywhere, period, they are there's a certain amount of genetics that do come with it as far as um you know your tendency to get it or not my family we still do get a lot of women do get <laughs> stretch marks i do have stretch marks on certain parts of my body like you know the outer hips and things where women usually get them but on the parts that i knew that were going to be growing rapidly that's where you want to make sure that you put so you know get something to support that and there are a lot of products on the market for stretch marks but really all you really need is like good oils and creams you don't need a lot of other things with with chemicals and all these things in it you don't you really really don't and a lot of that stuff you don't really want in your system anyway so that's why you want to make sure that you use products that you know what the ingredients are because there's other implications and you don't even want to get into that i don't have enough time for that some of those products that are on the market with the heavy marketing just saying <laughs> they are you know they have other things other than um just natural oils and butters even though that's what they put out front to make it seem like it's a super natural product okay but so just do your research that's the whole point this oil was really good i like the smell of it it especially in the beginning part of my pregnancy you know where i this time i had a lot of morning sickness i was nauseous a lot but you know not really throwing up but just being nauseous and smells <laughs> you know so this really worked because um i did feel moisturized after i use it and it's not super super greasy not heavy 
and the scent wasn't overbearing. So that's the first thing that I've been using. Second thing I've been using, I actually am gonna have to insert a picture because I don't have it anymore. I ran out of it and I haven't ordered that yet because I have the third thing. But the second thing was an oil from a pregnant belly oil from Badger. Now that oil was really good too. And uh, the th great thing about all these oils is that you don't really just have to use it only when you're pregnant. You can use it anytime if you're prone to stretch marks, but you can also use it on other parts of your body because if it's natural, you should be able to. It's just jojoba oil and orange essential oil and other things. You can use it anywhere in your body. So the second oil that I was using was one from Badger and I'll insert it here so you can go and check it out. And of course, like I said, everything is gonna be in the description box below. Now that oil was a little bit heavier than this one, but it still was really, really nice, especially in the cold winter months. And especially when I moved to my new house, where the water is a bit drier than at my old house. I really like that. I really like that it was um, really, really moisturizing. But if you're not able to find that oil, because sometimes it's not you know, readily available, Badger does have the third thing that I've been using. It is called a belly butter. This is actually a cocoa butter mix like a bunch of different butters. It does have beeswax, which makes it not a vegan product, but you know, some people, you know, you have to make up your own decision, your own mind on that, but keep that in mind. It is certified organic. It has virgin olive oil, castor oil, coconut oil, olive oil, I said that, sunflower oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, that's it pretty much. <laughs> Cause a lot of other cocoa butter mixes that you'll see on the, the market, it has, a bunch of other chemicals that you don't really know what it is and you don't know how it's gonna react in your body and especially now that you're pregnant you want to be super super sensitive so that is why I opt to not use those other things even though they are heavily marketed just saying I really like the badger line of products just in general I have like face oils I have hair oils for them I met them when I was at Expo East because I was part of the influencer group that was there and I, the, the company the people are really really nice but just in general I really love the quality of their products they have most of them are organic if they're not all and also I met the people from earth angel um, mama no earth mama angel baby but again they might be just earth mama organics right now mama organics oh my goodness i'm like destroying the name the whole line is amazing they have a bunch of deodorants that they just came out with and those i think i'm gonna have to reorder those i really am especially because you know i'm all about all natural and their natural deodorants are awesome i'm completely on a tangent and those are really the only three items that I've been using. And again, just put them on multiple times in a day if you're feeling itchy, because especially at certain times, like, you know, at night or whatever it is, if you feel itch itchy, just put it on. Don't let your skin get dry. That's what I would say. Don't let your skin get dry. Don't let it itch too much. And they say don't scratch too much because then that will bring these uh, stretch marks on. Also, if you're planning on getting pregnant or planning on going, you know, if you see that maybe your skin is stretching or maybe you might be gaining weight, just moisturize, 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 okay? Always moisturize. I've always moisturized, over moisturized from before I was pregnant, just my whole life. Anybody that knows me knows that I've like over moisturized. But I really think that that's what helps me not get stretch marks so much or, or I haven't in this pregnancy knock on wood not yet and I was pregnant with my son I got like one or two stretch marks right on my stomach right before I gave birth to him so it was pretty good that is it for today hopefully you found this helpful if you did make sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe you can find me on my blog or on instagram my blog is it's me lady and the link will be in the description box below and my instagram will also be there you can go and follow me over there Thanks again for watching and i hope you guys have a good day